is irresistible. The happy little face of Playmobil. Simple, colorful, and made for little hands. Playmobil, based in Germany, populates the playrooms of the world. More than two billion of these characters have been made in the last 35 years. That's equal to about one third of the world's population. Many people ask me, why does Playmobil sell so good? So my answer is, it's here, in the mind of the kids. And that is the key to Playmobil's success. It allows kids to use their imaginations. Each character comes with its own theme, pilots, builders, even bank robbers, in their own work environments. So kids can play adult, and in the process, maybe even choose a future profession. The fireman is still one of their most popular figures. Kids get to play hero with this one. And after 33 years, it just got a facelift. Talk about plastic surgery. This was uh, the fire chief before 33 years. And uh, you can see, he looks a little bit different. This is the old one, and this is the new one. It all started back in the late 1800s, then called the Brandstatter Company. They originally made toys out of metal. In the 1950s, they switched to plastic, but that made the company vulnerable to changing oil prices. We couldn't get the plastic, and if we get, instead of one Deutschmark per kilo, it was six Deutschmark, so. <laughs> that was funny. No, it wasn't funny. He decided to lessen the financial risk the company needed to make smaller toys, so the tiny Playmobil world was born out of a need to economize. Horst Brandstetter called upon his number one designer and close friend, Hans Beck. Beck has been called the father of Playmobil. He understood that tiny hands would be holding his creations. He thought about this size, then he thought about that size, and then he finished with this size, and it came out right because if it's too small, you cannot put details to the figure. Today, iconic pieces like the fire truck are still made in Germany at Playmobil's massive factory in Dietenhofen. It starts out with a good old-fashioned hand drawing. Then a 3D model is made, which is laser scanned to create a computer image. That data is used to create steel molds. The details are so intricate that making one mold can take up to six months. You cannot do that in too short time because then it will not be quality and the molds need time. Each mold can weigh up to two tons. They're brought to the injection molding area where they're fed plastic pellets from the enormous silos just outside. All this massive machinery for such tiny toys. Yeah, we work uh, 24 hours per day, and in the injection department, a lot of the machines work seven days per week. The plastic granules are sucked into the injection molding machine and mixed with color pigments. Then it is heated to a liquid state and squirted into molds. They then open up and push out the finished pieces. Tires end up in these shakers where a photo sensor checks them for any defects. Other parts head to printing. Meanwhile, a separate factory in Malta manufactures the iconic Playmobil figures, more than 100 million of them every year. It's definitely high tech, but the spirit of the characters hasn't changed much in 35 years. The imagination, the feeling, it's today the same. In our heart, what we have and what we think, and uh, this is, uh, for me, uh, the main reason for the Playmobil um, world. The figures end up back in Germany for assembly, where the fire chief is finally united with his truck. When the boxes are full, they're placed on pallets and sent to this enormous high-rack warehouse. From here, Playmobil fills all its orders worldwide. We have a warehouse uh, where we uh, reach every pallet uh, with a forklift. We have around about 60,000 pallets with a volume from 1.5 cubic meters. And only the computer knows where uh, the parts. In high season, they ship 80 to 100 truckloads a day. 
to ignite the imaginations of kids everywhere. For Horst Brandstatter, that is still the point. I am convinced kids will not grow the right way if they sit in front of a computer all day long. They need to play.